Hey, Dr. Proctor here. Welcome to uh, our, our channel today. I'm with Beltline Health. We do bariatric surgery, and I'm here today to talk about obesity and what is obesity. Um, obesity has a very scientific, well-defined uh, uh, parameter, and generally that's a body mass index of greater than 35, but uh, morbid obesity comes in with a body mass index of greater than 30. Now, there's a greater, there's a gray area there where if you have a body mass index or BMI that's between 35 and 40, but you also have conditions that are caused by being overweight, such as type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, hypercholesterolemia, um, uh, any of these any of these diseases that are caused by your weight, we consider that to be morbid obesity as well. So how do you calculate your BMI? The easiest way to do that is to go to your local BMI calculator on the internet and plug in your height and weight. But if you wanted to do it at home, it's your weight in kilograms divided by your height in meters squared. So again, uh, you'll need some conversions there from our typical pounds and, uh, pounds and feet uh, to convert that to kilograms in meters squared, but uh, that can easily be found on the internet. Once you figure that out, you want to decide where do I want my weight to be? Obviously, we don't want to be morbidly obese. We don't want to be obese. We don't want to be overweight. We want to be at a good, safe weight. What does that mean for you in particular? Well, not knowing what your height is, you can calculate this through looking at your BMI or body mass index. The human body wants to have a BMI somewhere in the 20s. How do we know that? Once your BMI goes below 19, we start seeing increases in your mortality. Once your BMI goes above 30, we start seeing increases in your mortality. So my goal for all of our patients is to achieve this BMI of uh, less than 30, but higher than 20, because that's a good safe weight for you. Now, body mass index or BMI isn't always a completely accurate representation of your overall health. I think for the majority of the population, it's a pretty good measure. But there are certain parameters at certain extremes where that's gonna kinda get out of whack. For instance, people who have a lot of muscle mass. Muscle weighs more than fat does, and that can throw off your BMI. For example, if we take an extreme example like Mr. and Miss Universe at competition time, they may have three to 5% body fat, but if you calculate their body mass index based on their height and weight, they're gonna come across as morbidly obese, which of course they're not. So while it's not always a perfect parameter for health, I think for the general population, calculating your BMI will correlate fairly well with your health and overall risk of early mortality. I'd love to talk to you about this more sometime. Please click on the link below to uh, make an appointment with us or, or contact our office anytime. Thanks for joining us.